Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about heart anatomy. So, the first topic of heart anatomy is pericardium. So, what is a pericardium? A pericardium is a fibrocerous sac that encloses the heart and the roots of the great vessels. To tell in simple words, it is a sac, sac in the sense bag that carries our heart. So in simple words, we can say pericardium is nothing but it's a bag that carries our heart. And few roots of vessels. So this is pericardium. So as you can see, this is the whole pericardium. You can see. And the pericardium lies within the middle of mediastinum. Now we get a question. What is a mediastinum? So let's see. Mediastinum is the space between both lungs inside the chest cavity. So if you see here, this is the right lung and this is the left lung. In between if these two, that is inside the chest cavity, we have our heart. This is known as mediastinum. Also, that is the position of the heart. So, mediastinum is the space between both lungs inside the chest cavity. So, as you can see here, this is our right lung and this is our left lung. In middle, we have heart that is covered with a pericardium then coming to functions of pericardium so the function of the pericardium is to restrict the excessive movements of the heart as a whole and to serve as a lubricated container in which the different parts of the heart can contract so so to tell you in simple words, the function, the main important function of a pericardium is it avoids the excessive movements of the whole heart. And as I told you before, it serves as a bag in a more easy way. It acts as a container, not just a container, a lubricated container in which the different parts of the heart can be contracted. So this is the function of pericardium. Then, let's know deeply about pericardium. So as we have studied before, it is a double walled sac around the heart. It is composed of a superficial fibrous pericardium. Superficial is nothing but the meaning itself we know as the above, the above layer, the superficial layer is fibrous pericardium. Then we have deep layers. It has two layers of serous pericardium. So let's see what are those two layers. First is the parietal layer. Second is the visceral layer. The parietal layer lines the internal surface of the fibrous pericardium. Then the visceral layer or it is also known as epicardium lines. Epicardium, this lines the surface of the heart. So to tell you more precisely, this visceral layer will be close it is it will be nearer to the organ so the visceral layer or epicardium lines the surface of the heart that is lines it covers the surface of the heart these two layers that is parietal layer and visceral layer are separated by the fluid filled in pericardial cavity this fluid is known as pericardial fluid. 
we will know about pericardial fluid in our further videos so yeah this is these are the layers of pericardium then so in this in this image if you see we have a clear i mean about the layers of the pericardium so here if you see this the outer one is parietal pericardium and visceral pericardium if you see as i told you it is the layer that is closer to the organ and here pericardial fluid as i told you it is the fluid between parietal and visceral layer and this is the whole pericardial sac now coming to the blood supply and the nerve supply of pericardium so the blood supply the pericardium blood supply is from the pericardiacophrenic branches of the internal thoracic arteries so and the nerve supply the peri the pericardium nerve supply the fibrous pericardium and the parietal layer of serous pericardium are supplied by the phrenic nerve so if in any competitive exams if they ask you the blood supply for pericardium is pericardiacophrenic and the nerve supply for the pericardium is phrenic nerve so yeah this is all about the pericardium thank you